Well, drought has displaced over half a million people in Somalia and left the country at risk of famine. A cholera outbreak is further complicating relief efforts, especially in the south, where some villages remain Al -Shabaab under Al-Shabaab control. Now, Mohammed Yusuf reports from Baidoa. Five-year-old Fatuma was admitted to the hospital after experiencing stomach pain, vomiting and diarrhea. Her mother says she can't lose another child. My eldest daughter was suffering from diarrhea and she died two months ago in the Busli village on the outskirts of Beidoa. I left my youngest daughter at home. I am the mother of three. My deceased daughter was seven years old. Aid agencies say the areas was hit by cholera and hunger are villages like Busle, which are under Al-Shabaab control. Accessing them is a challenge. Tens of thousands of people have walked to government control areas like Baidoa to seek help. Somalia has reported more than 40,000 cases of cholera since January. More than half the cases have been in this part of the country, the southwest federal state. And according to the World Health Organization, most of the cholera victims have been malnourished children. Health workers say rains this month in southern and central Somalia have contributed to a fresh surge in cholera cases. At this hospital, the biggest in the region, a special ward treats dozens of patients weak with from disease. It's like when the cholera outbreak started and we had many patients. Last week we were hopeful about five patients would come, but now between 8 a.m. and noon every morning we get at least 16 new patients. The situation is getting worse. More than 150,000 displaced people are now living in makeshift camps around the town and more continue to arrive. Clean water is available, but it's not enough. Medics supported by UNICEF and the WHO are going around in the camps to provide oral cholera vaccination. At the main hospital, people continue to arrive seeking treatment. Nationwide, between 200 and 300 cases of cholera are being reported every day. Mohamed Yusuf, for VR News, Baidoa, Somalia.